Hi, sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, sweetheart, kindly smash that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you are notified each time I upload. And please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much, and I am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you all shower me here with. I am grateful, and you all are super sweet. So today we'll be talking, uh, talking something very important, and it's about uh, Jericho by Iniko's song that a white woman actually took and uh, said that her song is demonic and then decided to rewrite the song saying that she has blood of Jesus running through her vein and all that. And people aren't finding that funny because I don't know how you are going to sing somebody's song, a black woman's song and saying, telling people that the song is demonic. I mean, it is actually the, like, you know, she was like, when you couldn't stand for the demonic lyrics swelling in your head so you wrote your own and i am asking what is demonic about the song the song where she sang about empowerment and the song wasn't for her the song was for black people and people of color and then she said the song is demonic and i uh, decided to transform it to what i don't understand and came out to tell people that are uh, you know people actually complimented her and said Oh, this is actually a very nice song and I think uh, I was uh, I listened to the old one and I think I shouldn't be listening to that kind of song because it's also demonic and like you know telling her that they appreciate the, the one she sang I mean it is just the other city people come on the internet to like you know do some shitty things and think they can get away with it and I really hope like you know they sue her for this bullshit because this is all BS and stupidity so when they told her, oh yeah, we like this song, you say, yeah, I am sure you all are, are, are no longer listening to her own version, that you all are listening to my own version. You see how far people can go to bring people down. I mean, a song that was written for a purpose, there is a purpose to the song, and she called it demonic, and then diverting all attention to hers, because you shouldn't be listening to that. I am gonna roll this clip. We'll come back to talk about it, and I absolutely want to read all your comments. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. Let's get into this video. Hi, I've been saved by grace. I got Jesus on my mind, and His blood running through my veins. Chains gone, I've thrown them all away. I'm a free agent now, nothing standing in my way. I've been dreaming about heaven for a long time, and I'm not holding on to any of those old lies. I've had a vision of the one that said I had to die. Now he's my future, past and present. I got new life. W Rose Worship, is this you? Riddle me this. Bella. Yeah, you all right? Oh, okay. You need anything? Oh, okay. Sorry, got distracted. <laughs> Bella. That's my dog. She's female. Um, What would you all do without us? What would you literally do without us? You literally captioned your video when you couldn't stand for the demonic lyrics swirling in your head, so you wrote your own. Excuse me, but whose head? Your head. So you had the lyrics swirling in your head. And somehow you thought taking someone else's songs and rewriting some lyrics to said song is somehow going to stop those lyrics from swirling in your head. You even took the whole rhyme scheme. Oh, you can't make this shit up. So here's the thing, um, W. Rose. I went through your page because I was, what other demonic things are you repurposing and speaking out against, right? And, um, yeah, I didn't find anything else. You know, I didn't find anything else. Like, I don't know, somebody who would take immigrant children and put them on buses and ship them somewhere they had no idea where they were going and children dying in the process of that. None of that. I didn't see anything about um, perhaps somebody who would have 26 allegations of um, essay against them and they still are running for president. 
I didn't see any of that. I didn't see any of that as demonic on your page that you were repurposing or addressing. But this song, yeah, that's that's it. That's the demonic thing going on in your life. But see, you're nothing special. People like you have been repurposing our intellectual property ever since we first encountered you. And you would take the things you consider demonic from our culture and you would whitewash them and then put them on display as something that you came up with. Hmm. Interesting. All the pretty girls walk like this, 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 this. You can't make this shit up. That video right there was taken from your page also. And I didn't see you repurposing the words to that video. Um, let's take a look at some of those words. If you don't mind, let's just blow this up just a little bit. No matter what the fuck these hoes talking about, just know you're a bad bitch. Every motherfucking time that you wake up and you look in the mirror, Motherfucking mirror. Yeah, I'm sorry. All the pretty girls walk like this. And you can pause and read the rest, right? Oh, the hypocrisy is just too real. But moving right along. Let's take a look at what you said when someone complimented you on, you know, your interpretation of somebody else's song. Hey, you are so welcome, and I'm so glad that you aren't listening to the other version anymore. There's definitely so much power in music and the words, and Satan knows that, and he knows that if he can make something catchy enough, um, that oftentimes believers will listen to it and, without even realizing it, make agreements with it and have these words coming out of their mouth that are not going to bring forth life and that are going to open doors to the other side and we don't want to do that so <laughs> one more time you mean like this all the pretty girls walk like this 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 <laughs> you really fixed your mouth to say all of that after that video this is the thing is anybody else wondering how she's going to repurpose the lyrics to Pretty Girl Walk Like This? <laughs> what rhyme scheme is she going to come up with for Bad Bitch and Motherfucking Mirror? Is anybody else except me wondering this? Newsflash, W. Rose, you're nothing special. White people like you have been stealing the intellectual property of black people ever since we first came in contact with you all. It amazes me that you claim a God that can't even give you the originality to come up with your own music and songs of praise. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Now, you run along and have the hypocritical day that you deserve. And the rest of you all, let's get it, people. I'm so glad that you aren't listening to the other version. Hey friends, let's take a walk down memory lane, shall we? So the other day, this person posted this video talking about Inico like this, like this. Calling Inico's song Jericho demonic and then proceeded to replace all the lyrics, but kept all the musical phrases and cadences and notes, just essentially ripping off Inico's song. She praised the person who remixed Inico's song more than she praised Inico themselves. This also makes me think that she fully intends to capitalize off of Inico's demonic sound. And as you saw in the clip, she's actively encouraging people not to listen to Inico's song with her full intent to make money off of it. I feel like that's illegal, I'm not gonna lie. Like almost slanderous. And she's ignoring people's comments that are trying to explain to her. Since we're walking down memory lane, let's talk about it. Elvis stole from black people all the time. Big Mama Thornton, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. He stole from Chuck Berry. 
all his dance moves. Elvis stole from literally everybody and everything that I literally call him a Frankenstein. Just an amalgam of stolen music and ideas. Just last year, Drea Mack and Felix the First did Own Brain's Freestyle. I ain't never been with a baddie. You know what I'm talking about? White creators stole the entire song, the music, the lyrics, and everything, messed it up, <laughs> and did not tag Drea Mack. Drea Mack is a queer black woman, and people were saying that the white woman made it a lesbian anthem, but it already was. It took her almost a week and a half to give credit to Drea Mack and then eventually take her video down, but she went viral for all the wrong reasons, just like this other creator is about to. Just the other day, this creator came across my For You page. Someone was stitching her, talking about she stole this sound. Whose sound? no name sound that creator stole the sound and is passing it off as her own and i'm not saying no name is the only one to make music like that but i'm just saying she's trying to say that she did this all on her own she stole it little richard tutti frutti versus pat boone's tutti frutti just like in drea mac situation the little richard song versus the pat boone song right Pat Boone was not on beat, yet he popularized the song. News outlets were saying that he brought cream to the coffee that is R&B. And that's what this creator is doing. In 2023, there is no reason that no one should be able to look up any of this information. Not to mention the entire mindset of just stealing from a black creator and then just whitewashing it like history. History. Please do not support stolen, bastardized music. I myself am a musician and I would never dream of stealing. Shame on you. And I'm so glad that you aren't listening to the other version anymore. Hell. Mm -hmm. Hell in a handbasket. For a song you claim was so demonic, you sure did love the melody. I mean, bar for bar, you copied every syllable because it was killing you. I can't fathom you have no passion and your creativity is lacking. And your skin cracking. Let me go lie. Why the hell was that so barry though? I wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, how you really appropriate that girl song and then say you're happy that people aren't listening to the other version? Your version is the other fucking version. And and and, and just to bring this full circle with the hair shit. This is why black women don't want y'all doing shit that they do. Cause first the hair was, it was unkept, it was nappy, they had tie on laws, you had to wrap your hair up. But when y'all do it, it's trendy. This is literally the same thing. How is the song demonic? Same melody and everything. That's the catchy part. Your version is divine. Jesus was black, read your Bible. Hey, you are so welcome. And I'm so glad that you aren't listening. To so, you went into a space where you weren't invited and took a song that in no way, shape, or form belongs to you at all, deemed it demonic, and then wrote your own shitty lyrics to it. Yeah, that doesn't mean you're talented or creative. That means you just wrote shitty lyrics to a song that was 20 times better than anything you could come up with on your own. And see, this the thing is you people are so freaking unoriginal and y'all have to steal shit from everybody else. You can't even create your own fucking music. Grow up. Find a chair before a chair finds you. Also, I really, really, really hope she sees the, your video and sues your ass. Um, and I'm so glad that you aren't listening to the other version anymore. If, if, if this is not the most on-brand example of Western Christianity, I, I don't know what is. I, I don't know what is. Because you take something that was not meant for you. You took a song that was not meant for you. It was meant for the empowerment of people of color, specifically women of color. And you turn it into something else because of your Christianity. And what you're doing is not new. This has been done by people that are like you. But you're erasing a history that this song is speaking to. You are erasing the empowerment that this song is about. There is a billion dollar Christian music industry. Artists, albums, tours, the works. They make music meant for you, for you Christians. Have you ever seen anybody taking their music and making it secular? Can you imagine the outrage and the disrespect if they took my God as a loving God and they made it secular? My hoe, got a hole big as that hole, not a back it up that hole. You people burned the city down. 
then what the heck gives you the right to do so? How dare you impose your beliefs and your lyrics on somebody else's music that was not made for you? I swear to God, you people me. Jesus better come and take the wheel. He better, he better, somebody's gonna end up in jail and I shouldn't be the one that ends up in jail because I'm, I'm not gonna do good in jail. Hey, you are so welcome and I'm so glad that you aren't listening. Refresh my memory, Sharon. Where is thou shalt not steal in your Bible? I'll give you a hint. It's in that top 10. Now, I have a question. You didn't listen to your own God that you're like, marketing and making money off of right now that's another one in the bible that you shouldn't do that um but are you gonna listen to a lawyer when you get a cease and desist letter and second question will you post it because i'm here for this crispy crunchy peanut buttery bullshit that you got going on i want to see what happens to you when you steal people's shit and improve it can i walk into your house take your tv because it would look better in my house that's how you sound that's how you sound and you sound racist as fuck. I, I guess that second thing you don't really care about either. Good luck with your God. Ooh. He knows that and he knows that if he can make something catchy enough. This is about a woman colonizing the song Jericho by Iniko. I was really confused by why she would even consider that song demonic and then I decided to look at the lyrics. The song is very literally just about empowering yourself about going beyond the expectations that you have or for yourself or a society has for you it's all about self-empowerment i think that this person is just put off by the mentions of jericho and it's one of those things where they're just so scared of the use of things that are relating to imagery that they're familiar with that they're like oh no they're saying jericho and they're saying it's gonna fall that's that's demonic <laughs> It's also funny to me that someone would call this a remix when all you did was colonize a song, you're capitalizing on it, and you are getting more promotion and attention than you did when you make your original music, so good for you, I guess. I'm sure Jesus would love you stealing from other people for your benefit. And I'm so glad that you aren't listening to the other version anymore. It's definitely- Oh, you took the song Jericho and made it demonic? But pretty girls walk like this is a- uh highly christian song yes it is i think i heard my mama singing it after sunday i think i did that's a lie but you took that woman's song and made it demonic because it's something you don't believe in do you not know that you are a hypocrite you took something that you liked it and flaunched your little butt all around with it but a song that you found as being demonic you took it and made it into something ugly like that song that you sung no nope, mm -mm, don't like it thumbs down um stop doing that stop doing that stop taking something because that somebody believes in something and turning it demonic stop it hey you are so welcome and i'm so glad that you aren't listening okay this is my second time doing this because the air conditioner is on full blast because i live in new orleans and it's 147 degrees outside so you like the beat of an eco song, however, didn't like the subject matter because Jesus hates astronomy. <laughs> you are also a musician. So instead of creating a song and making it go viral, you decided to steal a black woman's work and put your own little twist on it with no permission from the original artist. And you feel justified in this blatant act of copyright infringement because the Lord can see past copyright infringement? He's not on ASCAP or BMI. <laughs> There's a storied history of non-flavored people sitting up here and stealing black people's work, but I feel like that's a topic for another day. I'm so glad that you aren't listening to the other... Everybody has already touched on the fact that you stole from a black woman. I just want to let you know that there are two artists that can come after you. The gentleman who produced the beat to help out the black non-binary individual. But I wanna to talk to you 
about this video in particular that I stitched, where you go on to say that as a Christian, you know, the devil works through your ears and comes in. How many times did you have to listen to that song? How many times did you have to listen to that song and show the world that you have no critical thinking skills, that you were not above a D in English class in your scholastic career because you don't understand? creativity or metaphors or anything like that but how many times did you have to listen to that song in order to catch the melody and write new lyrics so what did it do to your spirit because i know it gave you the spirit and action of theft i know that you are relishing in the gluttony that you are receiving from all of this pseudo faux Christian praise. So just like the devil, you came to steal, kill, and disperse. So you aren't your brother's keeper. You have no plans on keeping your light trimmed and burning. You are so far removed from being in constant preparation for the return of the bridegroom. Do you even have any oil for your lamp? See, when your precious deity returns, you are one of the ones He's going to look at and say, ooh, new number. Who this? Hey, you are so welcome. And I'm so glad that you aren't listening. Refresh my memory, Sharon. Where is thou shalt not steal in your Bible? I'll give you a hint. It's in that top 10. Now, I have a question. You didn't listen to your own God that you're like, marketing and making money off of right now that's another one in the bible that you shouldn't do that um but are you going to listen to a lawyer when you get a cease and desist letter and second question will you post it because i'm here for this crispy crunchy peanut buttery bullshit that you got going on i want to see what happens to you when you steal people's shit and improve it can i walk into your house take your tv because it would look better in my house that's how you sound that's how you sound and you sound racist as fuck. I, I guess that second thing you don't really care about either. Good luck with your God. Um, and I'm so glad that you aren't listening to the other version anymore. I just want to make sure I have you clear. This is not bullying or harassment. They're just logical questions. Don't take it as that because this video is not that in any way, shape, form, or fashion. They're just logical questions. Okay, so uh, when it says, thou shall not steal, it didn't mean that because your actions are okay by stealing her work, you know, tacking Jesus on it, handing somebody the holy toast in the wine cooler to wash it down with. That's Christian now. It's not Christian in the Bible, but it's Christian now. Because basically, in essence, that's what you've done with her song. You know, I think it's a running theme with Christianity, crusades, manifest destiny, slave trade and whatnot. Hey, you are so welcome. And I'm so glad that you aren't listening. To oh, darling, I hope she sues your pants off. Like, seriously, I hope she sues your pants off. Um, you didn't improve that song, honey. Um, you just embarrassed yourself. Um, mm -mm. You're, you stole somebody else's intellectual property on an app, like, and embarrassed yourself for the whole internet to see. Your God doesn't like when you steal. Mm. That's a pretty big no-no in your book. I, I remember that from um, catechism classes um, and Sunday school. Yeah, that's that's a big no-no. Mm -hmm. And Jesus doesn't like ugly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that too. Mm. Um, yeah, 
See, um, your book says it has a lot of rules for you guys to follow, and you're not following any of them. You're also supposed to not to judge. I remember Jesus saying that. See, you're not supposed to judge. You're, yeah. Mm. Darlene, um, when I say that you are not Christ-like, I say that because you are the opposite of everything that Christ taught. And I say that as someone who has read their Bible and studied their Bible. Honey, um, I hope she sues the shit out of you. Have a blessed day. I'm so glad that you aren't listening to the other version anymore. It's definitely so much. Well, how very Christian of you to take the work of a black person and pervert it and try to force your messaging over it. Shame their work, other their work. How very Christian of you. How very Christian of you to then say, don't listen to that other person's work. Basically stealing again, because you know, that's an artist, a singer who, you know, earns a living through their music. So not only did you steal their music, right? But you're stealing, right, their income. And you're using your religion to do it. I mean, it is very, you know, Hellenizer of you. Very of you. Very Christian of you. So I guess all we can really say to this is thank you for being predictable. Thank you for showing why people turn away from church. Thank you for showing what you think Christianity is. So this is all I got from the sissies and I am happy that everybody actually came all out for her. And uh, the fact that uh, she actually sat down, listened to the song several times, the song that is also not Christ-like, you know, listened to it several times and decided to write her own. She got the blood of Jesus running through her vein. I see it. And uh, she went further to say that uh, when you couldn't stand for the demonic lyrics, like you not know, swearing in your head, so you wrote your own. How is this song demonic? How is her song demonic? Because I really don't understand how people wake up to, like, you know, to, uh, to criticize somebody's work. I keep saying it all the time that, like, you know, when people do something, especially when it comes to art, creativity, music, and the rest of it, I mean, it's something that uh, the original remains the original. So you turning around to go turn the music upside, the song upside down, because you think it is not Christ-like, and all you want is to divert attention from hers to yours. It is pure stealing, and you know the commandment. It is in the commandment, the Ten Commandments, that that shall not steal. And not just only did she steal. She stole and also also came came to tell them that uh, when people complimented, I thank you so much for this. I love the tone and rhythm of the song, but felt wrong for listening to the original. I think see, somebody said it felt wrong for uh, uh, listening to the original. Thank you for the remix, and she said, I am so glad that you aren't listening to the other version version anymore, right? It's definite. There is definitely so much power in what you listen to, man. People are just so mean and crazy at the same time. I mean, there are so many of them roaming around, breaking somebody's work and trying to tarnish it because that is how I say it. Like, you know, I don't know, but man, it's crazy. And of all people to do it, she decided a black woman, and you all know what that song is all about empowerment and the rest of it. Man, I don't, I don't like things like this. And the fact that she also came out to also praise herself, like, you know, what you're listening to determines how you go far and all that. Telling people to stop listening to Aniko's song because it is demonic. And I am asking, what exactly is demonic about the song? Absolutely, she got nothing to say about, like, what, exactly what is demonic about the song. But right now... She got the uh, blood of Jesus running through her vein, like all her life is all changed and the rest of it. I mean, you all, I don't know, but you all are just going to rot in hell. I ain't going to lie to you about this. I mean, this, I really don't have anything to say because, I mean, this is really very sad. And, uh, I mean, brother like, uh, brother like robbery. Because, man, how do you rob somebody of her song? 
and trying to divert attention to your own side. I mean, that is thiefing. You are a criminal. This is where I am going to draw the card. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.